you are so tired of dealing with these grumpy crab fishermen. And after all of that, these guys are thinking about beautiful cinematography. Watch out! Oh, man! They go nuts with the waves. We sit in the bay and do this, and we're still like, God, this is hard, huh? You know, yeah, like, except like, we all think, God, that is a miserable job, because yeah. those guys are in a dark room for yeah, how many hours? Exactly, yeah. No thank you. Discovery Channel's deadliest catch started as a show about crab fishing, but over the years, it's turned into a show about the crab fishermen, as viewers have come to know them. Its look has evolved, too, as its DPs keep trying to one-up themselves. Season 12 director of photography David Reichert and supervising editor Josh Earl came to Variety to tell us how they put together the show's most cinematic season yet. It never feels like you missed a shot or like, ooh, something's missing there. That's our job out there, and it's a combination of fixed cameras that run 24 hours a day for the entire crab season. We have two on the deck. One just covers the entire boat, one's covering the action, and then in the wheelhouse with the captain, we have two more. And producers that work incredibly hard to always be up, always be ready when something happens. Hang on guys, hang on, hang on, everybody grab on, hang on! Aside from them just getting what they catch, there's also massive amounts of specialty footage, B-roll, aerials, boat to boats, underwater. This is some of the gear that you're using for a single season of shooting. This is a Canon C300. It's an upgrade for us. This has a Super 35 sensor, so a big sensor, which gives us a very cinematic shallow depth of field. That's why we like it. It also takes a beautiful picture. This is the camera we use on the deck. The reason we like this is because the whole camera is kind of one piece, which allows us to waterproof it a little bit better. I think we lost seven, nine, 12, 12 of those this year. You down. lost 12 of those. 12 of them are finished. We'll never take a picture again. The conditions are so brutal on the deck, it's as bad as it can get for a camera. It's salt water. The air is salty air. And then they'll get smashed by a giant wave. I would be terrified of losing a camera over the side with all the waves. They do. They go over all the time. And we just have to have another one. We have another one. They grab their next one. This is a specialty camera that we use. This is the Sony a7S. Incredibly good in low light. And so we can pretty much shoot in the dark. And you got a red Epic here. And that's a red Epic. This is our main beauty camera. Uh, we use it for all the underwater shooting. We have an underwater housing for it. And the split level shooting, it's half water and half air. You have a GoPro on a gimbal. GoPro on a gimbal. It's been able to show us the role of the boats by holding the horizon when we set it up all over the boat, from the galley to the wheelhouse out on the deck. Gimbal day, man. I'm telling you, this is your gimbal string here. This year we put a jib on a boat with a stabilized camera, a gimbal on the end of that. How much footage are you bringing back more or less per episode? Over 30,000 hours of footage. That's going to be for the, the 18 episode series arc for okay. the season. How do you manage that in editorial? It starts with communication between the boats and post. So all of it comes in, it gets put in our system, it goes through an army of people, the editors and the story producers sit in a room once there's an outline of here's what's happening in this episode for this arc. Then we go to town. What in this current season? are you especially proud of? We do two hour premiere usually, our cold open and our state of the state beginning of the show. So like the first five minutes of the show where we work hand in hand with each other and we're like, okay, where are the greatest shots? Well, there's definitely points where you're like, I'm not doing this anymore. Like it just, this is, it is stressful, it is, it, there's deadlines that are crazy. By the end, you're like, that was so, I'm doing that again. I'm gonna go back, I need, it, I need it again. There's something so gratifying about being able to use such beautiful shots, such beautiful music. Everything that comes together to make one piece is exciting to watch evolve. And that's what it's like to actually go out, out on the boats as a cameraman producer. It's like you get out there and you're like, this is the worst thing that ever happened to me. And you come back and then there's like the camaraderie. Everybody's so excited to go out the next season. Please share this video, click like, and tell us what you think in the comments. We love making Artisans videos, and that's how you can help us keep on making them. To see more on unscripted television, click on the box on the left to see how The Amazing Race gets its amazing shots. For more on adventure cinematography, click on the box on the right to see how they shot Everest at high altitude. To never miss an Artisans video, click on the subscribe button that'll sign you up for the Variety Channel. 
There's a new Artisans video every week, so come back soon. Thanks for watching.